Sediment in a water heater is a big issue, especially in electric water, actually any water heater. An electric water heater is more of a problematic thing because it will cost you um, lower elements on a continuous basis. Usually when sediment gets to that point and it's costing you lower elements on the lower level, I recommend strongly that you get a certified person out to give you a price to replace your water heater um, because it's going to be a continual problem um, and it's just going to leave you hanging a lot. Um, but if you so choose, once again, you can choose that lower element. It'll get you some time anyway in between paying the bills and everything else that we all have to do. The next thing I want to go across with the sediment is how to see if you've got a sediment issue. And also a strong recommendation is that at least once a year, what I, what I call a blowout. You blow the bottom of the tank out. Um, with an electric water heater, to do this, the first thing you do is shut the power off. You shut the power off because you don't want any air pockets to get in where your elements are because they cannot, cannot at all be hit by air. They will pop, um, and it makes them bad very quickly if they do, even if they don't pop right away, and it'll scare you. So what I do is shut the power off, go ahead and hook my hose to the bottom, I do not shut the water off at the top to the water heater. This is just something we do on a blowout. I do it under pressure because what it does, all these tanks have a, a dip tube in them on the cold water side that comes down to about this level in the tank and it pushes that cold water to the bottom of the tank, therefore pushing the hot water out of the top of the tank and keep the tank in a stacking mode. Um, heat rises, so it's kind of that phenomenon that happens there. So what you do is you, you put it in there, it pushes the cold water to the bottom, which then pushes everything out the bottom bottom valve there. And it'll put push a lot of sediment, it'll be a milky white substance um, sometimes, sometimes it's a, a, like a bunch of little rocks that are just hard white rocks, calcium, magnesium buildup. And you'll see this a lot, especially in hard water country. Um, it's just something that happens. It also tends to eat what they call the anode rod, which is a rod in there. It's a sacrificial metal rod that's uh, installed in every water heater that's there to so that the water will not attack the metal in the tank. It's a softer metal that it'll attack that. Um, usually made out of aluminum or magnesium, depending on the kind of water that you have. So what it does is it blows the water out the bottom on a maintenance level um, and it gets rid of the sediment in the bottom. Some of the signs of sediment past that regular maintenance um, is you'll hear your water heater when it fires up, it'll, it'll hiss and bubble and gurgle and you'll hear a, a bubbling, gurgling, hissing sound, especially from the lower side of the tank. Uh, a little bit of hiss in, in an electric water heater is, is relatively normal, uh, especially when it first starts up because sometimes if it's a cold tank you're going to hear just a little bit more of it because of that energy transfer that's going into the water. Um, but if it bubbles and gurgles every time it comes on you probably have a sedimentary issue. Um, this happens once again in hard water country. It can also happen as a buildup if you have let's say a well. Um, a lot of times if you don't have a pre-filter on there you can get stuff in the bottom that's just basic dirt and rocks and things like that. What happens is it builds little caves and tunnels in there in this calcified uh, area. It looks kind of like coral reef is the best thing I can describe it to. Um, and you get your heat in the water up and what it does is it heats up and kind of boils out and not into the water itself. It boils through these little small pockets and bubbles come up through that and it, it just makes that bubbly gurgly sound that you hear. At that point in time typically I'm telling people think about change your water heater out. In the hard water areas such as Arizona I, it's, a, it's usually a 10 year um, I'm telling people go ahead let's let's think about replacing it because you're you're avoiding a problem of one flooding or leaving you hanging on repairs constantly and continuously and once again it's one of those things that we all take for granted and you don't know it until it's all gone. So that's the two things that I'm telling you on sediment. If you maintain that tank, you'll get a lot more life out of it um, by blowing that out once a year at least. And if it's something that you're not comfortable with doing or you know it's something you just don't want to touch, just get your certified technician out and they will come and, and uh, service that tank for you. And once again, strongly recommend at least once a year. And hard water sometimes twice a year is even a good idea. So that's how you check and test and the things that can go wrong with sediment issues.